chemistry project topic to study the presence of oxalate ions in guava fruit at different stages of ripening aim to study the presence of oxalate ions in guava fruit at different stages of ripening introduction guava is a sweet fruit found in india and many other places around the world guavas are plants in myrtle family Myrtaceae genus sedum meaning pomegranate in latin which contains about 100 species of tropical shrub on ripening it turns yellow in color rich in vitamin c this fruit is a rich source of oxalate ion whose content varies during the different stages of ripening guavas have a pronounced and typical fragrance similar to lemon but less in strength constituents of guava and its amount water 76.10 protein 1.50 fats 0.20 calcium 0.01 phosphorus 0.04 vitamin c 0.03 organic matter 14.50 what is oxalate it is a carboxylic acid primarily found in plants and animals it is not an essential molecule and is excreted form of our body unchanged our body either produces oxalate on its own or converts other molecules like vitamin c to oxalate external sources like food also contribute to the accumulation of oxalate in our body the oxalate present in the body is excreted in the form of urine as waste too much of oxalate in our urine results in medical condition called hyperoxaluria commonly referred to as kidney stone diet is looked upon as a preventive measure in addition to medication to treat kidney stone measuring flask burette burette stand my pet conical flask funnel weighing bottle 
glazed tile white burner wire gauze chemical balance oxalic acid potassium permanganate solution sulfuric acid filter paper beaker guava fresh guava one day two day three day old guava theory oxalate ions are extracted from the fruit by boiling pulp with dilute sulfuric acid the oxalate ions are stimulated volumetrically by titrating the solution with potassium permanganate solution a reagent called the titrant of a known concentration a standard solution and volume is used to react with a solution of the analyte or titrant whose concentration is not known using a calibrated burette or chemistry pipetting syringe to add the titrant it is possible to determine the exact amount that has been consumed when the end point is reached the end point is the point at which the titration is complete as determined by an indicator this is ideally the same volume as the equivalence point the volume of added titrant at which the number of moles of titrant is equal to the number of moles of analyte or some multiple thereof as in polyprotic acid in the classic strong acid base titration the end point of a titration is the point at which the ph of the reactant is just about equal to 7 and often when the solution takes on a persisting solid color as in the pink of phenolphthalein indicator procedure gram of fresh guava is weighed and is crushed into fine pulp using pestle and mortar the crushed pulp is transferred to a beaker and about ml dilute h2so4 is added to it the content are boiled for about minutes the contents are then cooled and filtered in a measuring flask the volume is made up to ml by adding distilled water ml of the solution is took from the measuring flask into a titration flask and ml of sulfuric acid 
is added into it. The mixture is heated to about degree C and titrated against KMnO4 solution taken in a burette till the end point is reached shown by an appearance of light pink color. The above experiment is repeated again with gram of 1 day, 2 day and 3 day old guava fruits. Thank you for watching.